Everyone is opening. Wow. This is an amazing picture. I think my screen now is full. Mm -hmm. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. I hope everyone brought wine to the occasion. <laughs> Do chichin. It's a little bit early, no? <laughs> early? I start drinking from noon. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> to stay, okay. to stay, staying in startup world, you need to drink a lot. Look, I like a red wine because this is my name. Yeah? Borosh in Hungarian is a, a winer. Exactly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, every second we'll learn something new here. <clears throat> Does coffee counts? Coffee is everything that you have counts. <laughs> Kids also counts. Dogs, whatever you have, bring them in. <laughs> this is the the new the new normal now. Dana, you took the center of my screen. You are right in the middle of my screen right now. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, um, I would like to welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Mateusz Pigoń. I work in the Israeli embassy in Warsaw. And it, it is my pleasure to be with you tonight uh, and on the opening event of our second uh, startup bootcamp. Um, I would like to start with uh, with a recording uh, video greeting of our uh, of Ms. Anna Azari, the, the, the Director General of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the former ambas ambassador of Israel to Warsaw. Um, I would also like to just mention that I hope that everything will work today, but I think we are used to, um, to Zoom events and, and some problems on the way, but I hope it will be okay today. So please give me a minute and I will start uh, with the video of uh, Ms. Anna Azari. Hello, I'm very happy to be in Warsaw or in Europe, even if it's virtually, for the second boot camp of uh, the um, young startup from Visegrad Group. Uh, it is a strange year, instead of doing it in person, instead of doing it all together in the same room, we, uh, we do in uh, boot camps virtually, but I'm quite used by now to virtual reality. And I think we do, we are able to 
um, achieve our goals even this way. The situation is in Israel is um, quite good on one hand because we are doing well on our um, vaccination program and quite complicated because we are uh, not doing that well on the numbers of people with um, COVID-19. I'm sure though that um, this program is going to be great, that you are going to learn um, a lot uh, for for your future endeavors. And still, I want to wish all of us um, to meet for the third boot camp uh, in person and not only virtually. Good luck and enjoy. Yes. Sorry. Uh, thank you. I would like to uh, to welcome and ask uh, to to say a few words, Mr. Petr Kulovane, Director of Foreign Economics Policies at the Ministry of Trade and Industry of the Czech Republic. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Kulovane is speaking. At the start, let me excuse Her Excellency Deputy Minister Tauberová, who has another very important duty uh, connected with COVID-19 management and who asked me to deliver her presentation. It is such a pleasure for me uh, to join you today in order to launch the second edition of the We4 uh, Startups uh, Bootcamp. Uh, focused on uh, sharing knowledge between Israeli partners and uh, talented startups from Central Europe. First of all, I would like to thank the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Israel, embassies of Israel to the four countries, notably Ambassador of Israel in the Czech Republic, His Excellency Daniel Meron, the Polish Presidency of the V4, as well as all speakers, experts, individual startups for marking, uh, making the V4 Startups Bootcamp uh, possible. The Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Czech Republic is proud to be a partner of uh, such a prestigious international event. Moreover, please allow me to briefly say that the Czech Republic, together with other V4 countries, strive to rank uh, among the most innovative economies in Europe in uh, the year to come. In this respect, the V4 countries look up uh, to the state of Israel as an important uh, source of inspiration uh, in terms of uh, startup ecosystem uh, development, technological progress, and as well as transforming ideas into specific projects. In my opinion, events like uh, the V4 Startups Bootcamp play a significant role as it lays in important groundwork for further technological cooperation and creates a wider network of uh, business partnerships. Also, I would like to mention the fact uh, that uh, besides the V4 Startups Bootcamp, we four countries successfully cooperate with Israel through another well-established program called V4 Innovators in Israel Training Program, focus on uh, advanced startups and incubators. The Czech Republic is uh, looking uh, forward to launching the next uh, edition of this program during the Polish V4 presidency this year. Without any further delay, I wish you all success and on behalf of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, I would like to pledge 
our continued support for your efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Um, and I would like now to, to ask to speak uh, Mr. Christian Kölkedi, uh, who is the head of RDI Services and National Research Devel Development and Innovation Office uh, of Hungary. Uh, thank you very much and uh, um, shalom to everyone. Um, it's nice to be here with you. And uh, I try to be not so formal because of uh, we are in, now speaking in the startup sector and we're speaking to actually startup person, people who are working with startup person. Uh, I think this is a great opportunity to speak about uh, these kind of challenging times, uh, this kind of uh, uh, times as we have, we're facing a global pandemic and uh, m uh, more options, more solutions and more ideas coming from the startup sector. Uh, I think uh, not just the startups, but the, think but the thinking, the way of thinking, uh, which needed to be uh, a successful startup. Uh, so uh, it's important to face some kind of difficulties. So uh, I uh, hope that every team uh, here gets the opportunity to uh, grow and learn from uh, the Israeli ecosystem because I think we can say, and as before mentioned, uh, Israel is a really strong example and a strong participant of the uh, startup, global startup ecosystem. So I think I, uh, I'm happy to the national uh, uh, research development and innovation uh, office is uh, taking a part of this and I'm happy to be here. I wish uh, every participant and every um, supporter in this group uh, to have a great work this year. May we have a better year uh, 2021 as we had the last year and uh, keep up the good work and uh, keep the startup way of thinking uh, alive and uh, have the startups change the world for the better. Uh, good luck and uh, good and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to now uh, share a, a video recording uh, with a greet with some greetings from um, the deputy um, uh, president of PARP, which is the Polish Agency for Enterprise Development, Mr. Marcin Czyża. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, it's my pleasure to participate in today's event, organized on the occasion of launching the second edition of the uh, Startup Nation V4 Startups Bootcamps for the companies uh, from the Vishikrat Group. It is also my privilege to welcome all the distinguished guests, speakers and participants. Polish Agency for Enterprise Development has not only um, experience in building startup ecosystem, but also in building international relationships like the one with Israel. Just to mention Polish-Israeli Business Forum in Tel Aviv in 2018 and Polish national stands at DLD Tel Aviv in, uh, Innovation Festival festivals in 2018 and 2019. Today we've got, a uh, we've got a pleasure to partner in the event organized by uh, Israeli uh, embassies. I am sure that uh, nine webinars Will result nine webinars with a top uh, Israeli experts will result in a comprehensive knowledge uh, exchange and then bringing your startups and your businesses to the next level. I would also like to recommend you to check our website to check our pro programs because these these programs might also help you to develop your business not only in Poland but also abroad. I wish you all uh, fruitful talks and brainstorming work uh, workshops. Thank you for your attention. Um, 
we would like to, to move on now to the uh, another part of our uh, event and to introduce um, the guests, the uh, Israeli experts who will be um, conducting some of the lectures and who will be uh, sharing their knowledge and experience with the participating startups. So we would like to show you now a presentation and um, if, if, the person represent, if the person represented on the screen is with us and would like to, to say a few words, uh, I would like to ask you to, um, to just uh, take, take uh, on the video and, and, and share, share with us uh, your thoughts. Our first uh, expert is Dana Gavish, who will have a lecture regarding the Academy Made Startups. And I think Dana is with us, so please. Yes, hello everyone. It's lovely to be here. Uh, well, virtually, but still smells like an international event, which is absolutely amazing. Well done to all the organizers, really. Um, I'll tell you what I'm be, I'll be talking about. We'll be talking about um, entrepreneurship in academia. And these two don't really go together in a natural way. These two uh, uh, usually are not uh, put in the same sentence together. And therefore it does require a whole system or thinking out of the box or inside the box, how to bring them together and create achievements in these arenas. So the first thing I'll be talking about in my workshop is technology transfer, which is, if you will, researchers entrepreneurship. So this is when researchers have technologies and eventually uh, by technology transfer means and uh, methods, we bring them to the uh, commercial arena. This is the first more traditional way of, uh, of doing entrepreneurship in the uh, academic world. But things are evolving. And I think that today everybody knows that in order to stay relevant, academic institutes need to better prepare the students and not only researchers to the day when they graduate and go out to the outer world. And that means uh, that today in universities, we need to think in creative ways how to train and prepare the students for the day they graduate. And for that, uh, during the past few years, uh, Israel has formed academic uh, centers for entrepreneurship within the universities. So I'll tell you a little bit about those, uh, how they're changing whatever happens within the university. And I'll also dig in into what we're doing in my university, which is Ben Gurion University of the Negev, and the kind of programs that we're hosting for researchers, for students, for management, for staff, and how we touch different publics. Um, in essence, I would look at entrepreneurship in academia as a secret engine behind Israel's phenomenal success as the startup nation. So definitely one of the secret ingredients of the startup nation is the fantastic technologies that are created and eventually are brought into the commercial arena at the universities and by different entrepreneurs that are starting their work in the garage while they're students. Thank this is in much, essence, Anna. and thank you for having me. Thank you very much. I will, I will now present our uh, second um, expert, uh, Ms. Svia Baron, and I think she is also here with us. So if yes, you... I'm here. I'll try to stick with the 30 second, uh, seconds uh, um, um, re restriction. So hi everyone, my name is Svia Baron. I'm head of innovation at uh, Israel Electric Corporate, Israel's main electricity um, uh, provider serving 3 million uh, customers and with an annual revenue of uh, around $5.5 billion uh, per year. 
And um, I have more than 25 years of innovation experience, both at startups, as a consultant working with uh, government uh, agencies, uh, big corporates and the uh, startup ecosystem. And in my presentation, we're going to, um, to learn how to deal with the giants, the corporates, which are very different from startups and how to succeed uh, working with them, implementing your product or your eventual product and getting into commercialization. Thank you and success to us all. Thank you very much. Our next expert is uh, Ms. Ayala Hen. Yes, hi. Hello. Um, hi, nice to meet you all. Um, so my name is Ayala Hen in Hebrew. <laughs> um, from uh, Tel Aviv, practically the Israeli innovation uh, capital. Um, in the last few years, I've been specializing in uh, business map preparation for um, entrepreneurs and initiatives in practically almost any industry, any stage, and any creative business model. Um, my talk, my lecture for you would be on that subject, uh, thinking about how to um, better present each startup uh, through fundraising, uh, recruit partners, investors, um, any kind of help along the way. So that would be me. Thank you for having me and nice to meet you all. Thank you very much, Ayala. Thank you. And our um, next uh, speaker and expert from Israel is Ms. Irit Nachmani. Are you with us, Irit? Yes, I'm sorry, I was in mute. Thank you. Yes, hi everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be here and it's such a pleasure uh, to meet you all. And it's an honor for me to be part of this uh, course. My name is Irit Nachmani. I'm the owner of uh, public relations and strategic uh, consulting firm. I work uh, over the years with private and governmental sectors across uh, industry, industries. Um, I have an experience in building and leading marketing strategies for startups and innovative uh, companies, and also specialized in uh, com a com companion global companies entering the Israeli market. I'm going to speak in my uh, lecture about branding, what makes a brand an effective one. Uh, we will give, of course, uh, different examples. Uh, we will talk about uh, business brand and personal brand, and we'll focus mainly on the startups uh, industry and giving some guiding uh, principles in, uh, in brand uh, building. Uh, so that's it for now. Thank you all and hope to meet you soon again. Thank you very much, Edith. Thank you. Um, next expert and a lecturer that is going to meet you actually already tomorrow is uh, Tomer Sagi. And I just wanted to wait for a second. Maybe he's here with us today. If not, I will uh, share a video that he prepared. Okay, so I will play the video in a second. Hi, my name is Tomer Sagi. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of a startup called I Know AI. Um, I'm excited to be part of this uh, startup bootcamp uh, V4 uh, as one of the uh, speakers or uh, lectures, um, and I'll be basically starting the uh, the series of uh, workshops that you'll have. I'll be speaking with you tomorrow. I think about uh, product market fit and and how to uh, 
achieve it. There is tactics and strategies and also a tool that you could use to evaluate yourself uh, now and uh, where do you want to be in the next sort of few uh, months, quarters, years. Um, so I'm excited. Um, myself, I'm sort of born and raised in Israel, but I'm half Kiwi. I lived in New Zealand for seven years. My ancestors are actually from Slovakia, uh, both my grandparents from my mom's side. So I'm uh, excited to be uh, part of this initiative and I hope I can help. And as I did in the previous cohort, I'm, I'll be happy to help uh, after the lecture as well. So reach out to me if you want. Thank you very much and good luck to everybody. That was our uh, guest who will have a lecture for you tomorrow. And uh, now uh, we will also host uh, Oren Simanian, who will talk about marketing strategy. And Tal, can you help me to, to say if he will be with us or not? Okay, so we will be looking forward to his presentation when it's uh, when when it's his turn. And now we have uh, another speaker that we know from from the first edition of the uh, bootcamp, uh, Mr. Daniel Starr, who will be uh, talking about raising capital. And also Racheli Barsano. Uh, she will continue the conversation about the, the finance part of the of the enterprise and uh, she will be talking, her presentation will be called, let's talk about money. I'm here, so I, I present myself? Okay. Yes, Hi everyone. Um, excuse me? Okay. Yes, yes, please. Okay. You can, you can. So, hi everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank Talental for the invitation and this, this wonderful initiative bootcamp. It is a great honor to be part of the program conducted by Tal Katran and Tal Ben Ari from the Embassy of Israel in Poland. So, uh, as presented, uh, my name is Rachel Vosano. I am a former director of finance on the international company with an annual sales of $300 million a year. Nowadays, I'm a, I give a CFO services for startups company, which are already funded and sell. I also lecture on a financial topics. Um, basically, I combine the traditional industry and the startup e ecosystem, and it gives me a wide point of view. I'm going to share with you my vast experience on budget control, and we are going to talk about money. And the money is the heart of the machine because uh, we acknowledge the importance of success of the innovative technology, uh, technological and the mar uh, marketing aspects, but none of this uh, would exist without the uh, fund. We will talk about the source of funding and the implication of each, and you will get uh, from me operative tools that will help you to maximize the, the outputs of the startups by the right allocation and the budget control. And uh, I'm uh, waiting to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, finally, I would like to present you um, a speaker that we already know from last year as well, uh, Mr. Tal Katran, who will be talking about storytelling. Um, but Tal, if you would uh, excuse us, and I will not ask you to speak now, but in a second. Uh, we will now present the, uh, briefly the mentors that will be um, guiding and, and helping uh, the startup participating in this year's uh, bootcamp. And then after that, we would like to ask you for your keynote speech as you are this year's uh, director of, of our program. So let me open the presentation now and I will, we will now show you the uh, the speaker the the mentors that will be participating in our program this year we've asked as um, experienced entrepreneurs and, and experts from all v4 countries to be our uh, mentors this year 
So, so these are just their very short bios, and of course, all of them will be available to you um, to, to, to contact, to talk, and, and learn from their experience. And of course, we, will, uh, we also encourage you to be in contact with the embassies of each of the v, uh, Israeli embassies of each, in each of the V4 countries if you have any additional questions. Um, I would like now to ask to speak uh, Tal Katran, the director of this year's program. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, it's an honor and privilege and a real delight to be here with you today to see such a long list of, first of all, first class speakers and, um, and you guys who are going to enjoy from all this uh, abundance of knowledge. We need to say thank you in the beginning and, of course, uh, Tal Ben Ari for putting us all here and giving us this opportunity. Um, I might have not been so good on the first cohort, so I was called to try again to do my best on this cohort. And again, it's a great privilege. I had uh, spoken to uh, all the countries involved, all the ones representing the Israeli side and the countries themselves. And I'm telling you, this is uh, almost a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I can tell you from our side, the Israeli team, we are going to do our utmost. You uh, will have the time probably to read more about the speakers that you're going to meet. Um, we have shared with you the link for the landing page of the program where you can find all the information that you need aside from the, the Slack that you have. And you can learn more that really this is a this is a a team of speakers okay and it is your i would say responsibility as well as opportunity to get the utmost from their knowledge and skills and it's really up to you um you need to in a way change the disc a little bit we are entering the startup world Everything is dynamic, nothing is certain. Whatever you will grab will be yours. Any opportunity that you will see go by, if you will not hop, jump on it, and take it with both hands, will just continue moving in front of you. We are here committed to do the best. Although we are doing remote, by the way, this remote gives us a great opportunity to bring all this even closer to you all. We have every intention to mingle between you in your countries, to mingle between the countries. We see this pre-acceleration program as the beginning or the launch of yourselves as, let's say, entrepreneurs, maybe later start -uppers. and then since the leading accelerators in your countries have teamed up with us, uh, you will be or you will be given the opportunity to be scouted also by them, hopefully continuing in your countries and by the way, in the other countries. This is why you are the four countries. And with us, we expect, Tal, we said it, we expect everyone to reach Israel sometime. This is why we are here for. We want you to spend your money in our economy. By now, we are spending ours with yours. We want to get something in return. This is an investment for us, okay? This can be an amazing program if we will all work together. If we will enjoy receiving your feedback in real time. The speakers are here to give their speeches, their lectures, and then as much as they will be willing to give some of their time. But for that matter, you have a great, amazing lineup of mentors. Now, I've spoken to most of them. And I'm telling you, they are real professionals. And they ask me specifically to tell you they want you to call them and bug them and run after them 
and bombard them with calls and emails and everything that you have. Everyone here stands and awaits whatever, and to do whatever we can for your success. The road is difficult. To become a startupper may be easy on the decision, very hard on the doing. You need help, you need guidance, you need support. This is why we have signed in for. We have signed in to give you this acceleration, this push ahead with your ideas. We will do our best to teach you how to do it, but you would need to do it. Those of you who will participate, I mean, it's all of you, need to understand that there are lectures, but there is also, also time between the lectures, which is not free time to do whatever, is it to work as much as you can, as much as you can on the startups. And the more time you would invest in it, I think, first of all, you will see, yes, it's difficult, but it's also a lot of fun, a lot of new things to learn. By the way, you will be taught tools. You will be giving the skills of things that will serve you, not just on startup world, on everything else that you do, on your studies, on your work, on your next job, in your private life, in your family. This is how we know to do it. This is why we are the Stardom Nation and we want to give from our, from our side as much as we can for your success. COVID is all around us. By the way, same as in Israel. We are under lockdown situation. It's so, so all over. Yes, we are leading the... Well, Israel always has to lead with something. So once we lead with the number of infected, then we lead with the number of vaccine. Still, we have COVID. Still, just today, we are shutting down our airport, the one that we have, and that's a total lockdown for the country. So we are all in the same situation. That, that is the normal situation for startups. Uncertainty, unclarity, everything is difficult, everyone is smarter than you, reaching money is difficult in your countries, by the way, all over the place. That said, small note, Israeli startups during December raised just $700 million, just because in September it was 1.2 billion. Yes, you have a lot where to look for, to achieve more, we will help, we will support, but you are the ones who will get the upside. I don't want to talk about the failure, about the upside. Yes, we want you to interact between you. We recommend that you do it. Remember this, companies compete, startups unite. And we want this, this activity to be unified between the countries, between each country and between the countries, and of course, with us in Israel. I thank you again, Tal ben -Ari, for making this possible. I want to thank the speakers for joining. I know your time is very valuable. Thank you for this. I want to uh, thank all the countries involved, uh, am ambassadors from all sides, governments, and of course, the mentors and accelerators that are here and that will join us as we go. I want to wish you all great success and good health, of course. Stay safe, stay well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tao, for this inspiring uh, presentation and uh, laying out the, also the general idea behind the, uh, the bootcamp. And uh, I would like uh, to, to present to you now, actually, the, the startup that will be participating in this uh, year's uh, edition. Um, we have startups from four countries, and um, uh, this is a presentation that just um, presents all of them. Uh, there will be five seconds per company. I know it's not a lot, but uh, we do hope that you will have plenty of time to, to talk to each other and also exchange um, uh, notes uh, during the, the boot camp, and there are other channels of communication that we encourage you to use. So I will now start with this presentation of the startups participating in this year's boot camp.
this is the list, the long list of, of the companies and startups that will be taking part in the in our program this year. Um, and for our closing remarks, I would like to speak uh, the charge de affair of the Embassy of Israel to Poland, uh, Ms. Talban Ariya Alon. Thank you, Mateusz. I would like to ask everyone to open your cameras so we would feel like we're in a real event and not just online. And I want to thank everyone. First of all, our esteemed guests for joining us. Second of all, I would like to thank Tal Katran, our project director, for all of his hard work and to all other Israeli experts devoting their time to this bootcamp and willing to share from their knowledge and best practices. I would also like to thank our amazing group of mentors. And they're here to help you. They're here to help you achieve your goals. They're here as the biggest plus for this program for you. And I want to ask you, all participants, to take advantage of this opportunity. Reach out to them. Just as Tal said, don't be afraid to call them to get in touch, to ask questions. This is why they are here. This is why we are all here. We want to be here for you. And last but not least, I want to thank you, the participants. Because um, we are here for you, but the fact that you decided to commit and come, uh, we are proud of you. And we thank you for your time and for your trust that we can help you get to the next level and bring you closer to achieving your dreams. And most importantly, I want to thank all of our partners. First of all, from the Czech Republic, Ministry of Industry and Trade, the Czech and Israeli Chamber of Commerce, Incubate, South Moravian Innovation Center, and Lighthouse Ventures. From Hungary, National Research Development and Innovation Office, Startup Campus, and Hungarian Private Equity and Venture Capital Association. From Slovakia, Civita, Slovak Business Agency, and Sario, Slovak Investment and Trade Development Agency. And from Poland, PARP, the Polish Agency for Enterprise Development, Tikunology, LT Capital, and ExcelPoint. And of course, I want to thank our two partners from Israel also, uh, Pitango and Go no Go, that we have two speakers representing them. And again, uh, Talka Tran, who is not just our director for this program, but also a partner devoting much of his time for this program. And um, so we're very excited about tomorrow. We'll see you all at noon. If you haven't joined the Slack, please do. If you haven't been to the website, go on the website, look us on LinkedIn, look us on YouTube. We are here for you. Uh, be as active as possible, get involved. Um, and we'll see you again tomorrow. So thank you again and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Can you close the screen share so we can have a group photo? Can... Hopefully it, it will be uh, possible now. I am not sharing a screen currently. No, you're, you're not. You need to put it in gallery because you control it, I think, no? Okay. Tell you can do it yourself. Sure, 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 sure. We just want everyone to open their, their cameras now and fix your hair, your lipstick, your makeup, have good light behind you, move the pillow away. Okay. The last ones on the bottom here, I see people didn't open their uh, cameras yet. So we give it a three, two, one. Start smiling from now. Done. That's it. Thank you so much. Shalom. See you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank bye you. Bye. Good Thank night. You. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.